am you. <laughs>Let's search for clues. I guess we'll start left to right, right? Mm -hmm. What a beautiful jewel. It's so clear, sparkly, absolutely brilliant. Oh, so I can't investigate the cotton that's just chilling right here. A green jewel. The fresh green color reminds me of the forest. Just looking at it, it's so common. Sierra looks more disturbed than the rest. Start investigating. We might find clues. All right. Don't let any details slip past you, Tim. Well, it was see. cut. Where should we look first? I mean... Hmm. Looks like it's part of the jewel case. Based on the shape, I think it's the top half of the case was cut off. Yeah, it looks that way. It's a really clean cut. Slicing it must have taken one seriously sharp blade. I doubt a human could pull that off. Hmm. There's some cotton on the ground. Looks really fluffy and soft. Bottom, bottom. What's a bunch of cotton doing in here? Hey, Tim. Check it out. <laughs> Looks good, huh? <laughs> Disguises are a key part of detective work, you know. Yeah, whatever. Now quit goofing off and investigate. Ah. He clearly doesn't appreciate my art. Perhaps I need to give him a little more training. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there's something in there. Is this the only case that's damaged? Must be where they kept the aurora drop. The edge looks like it was sliced clean with a blade. What kind of blade could slice this cleanly through? Such a jewelry case. Ah, yeah. oh, the jewel case is still locked. Okay. Looks like Dennis said the jewel in this case was stored under lock and key. And the key of the case is different than the one to the jewel storage room. I wonder who has taken the key then. Oh, I think that's everything in here. All right, you. There's a blue feather. Do you think the Pokemon it belonged to was in this room? Maybe it's from a Pokemon that lived in the mansion. Well, let's look into it later. Right. I covered everything I was wondering about. Any other spots you want to check? As far as I know, no. Okay, let's start deducing. Ah, we can start deducing. I might as well investigate these. That one's a blue jewel. The blue like the ocean, kind of magical. Mm -hmm. Red, or vibrant red, like boiling hot lava. Okay, but that's not the, this, this one. Okay. You probably figured out how the culprit stole the jewel by now, eh? All right, start selecting the deuce in your case notebook. Okay. Bum. Okay. We have a few plausible theories. Which do you think is right? How was the jewel stolen? It was cut. Okay. When I seen the crime scene, we could tell the jewel case was sliced open. After that, the Aurora drop was removed from the case and taken away. Right. And we saw the jewel case was still locked, which supports the claim. We still need to investigate more to determine how the case was sliced open. But at least now we know how the jewel thief got their hands on the aurora drop. Yeah, we made our first step forward. Okay. Okay. You understand how to close use the key? Yep. Yep. Once I got some evidence, I'll start to do some. Feel free to start deducing whenever you feel like it. Okay. So that's all we gotta do? 
After investigating the scene, we now know how the crime was carried out. We can be certain that the culprit sliced open the case and took the jewel from inside. There's just one thing that's strange. Oh yeah? Yeah, think, Tim. What's strange about the way the crime was committed? Uh... The glass was cut, but the door wasn't. Oh! The, yeah, the door to the storeroom was open with a key, and the jewel case was still locked and was sliced apart. That's right. So that means the thief only had one of the keys. The key to the storage room. They didn't have the key to the jewel case. According to Mr. Dennis, he and Barnes had access to the storage room. Jewel storage room. I understand why the police suspect Barnes, but I'm not so sure. Obviously, it'd best be, be best if we could talk to Barnes ourselves, but he's still being questioned. We need to ask Mr. Dennis about the lock on the jewel case. Right, after we wrap up here, let's go ask him. Hmm. How's the investigation doing, Tim? Oh, Mr. Dennis. Sorry, I couldn't stand by. Uh, I couldn't just stand watching around, stand around raiding. Wow. Have you discovered anything? It does appear that the culprit used the storage room key to gain entry. We believe that they cannot freaking speak today. We believe they then cut open the jewel case and took the Aurora drop. Is that so? I suppose that doesn't help Barnes much since he has access to the key. I have a question for you, Mr. Dennis. Who has the key to the jewel case? I have it right here. I always carry the key to the case on person. I know Barnes is a very long time, but I still won't give him this key. Okay. The security to the jewel case is my personal responsibility. Got it. So both Barnes and Dennis have access to the storage room but only Dennis has access to the case. That's valuable, valuable information, Mr. Dennis. Thank you. Really? I thought it might be getting in the way, but I'm glad I hear I can help. The Aurora Drop is meant to become a symbol of revival for Rhyme City. Anyway, I'm counting on you, Tim. Symbol of revival. Let's ask Dennis about that later. Hmm. Alright, so the police suspect Barnes that this culprit began interviewing the people in Pokemon in the mansion. The thief cut up the case to steal a jewel, but they had to get the key from the storage room. Only people who have access to that are Dennis and Barnes. So it makes the sense the police suspect Barnes. If the key hadn't been used to unlock the storage room, Barnes wouldn't be under suspicion in the first place. Why would he do that, knowing people he would suspect, he would suspect him? Maybe he didn't think that far ahead. In any case, based on what we found at the scene of the crime, we can't be certain of anything just yet. We need to talk to Barnes and the other people in the mansion and hear what they have to say. Not just the people, the Pokemon too. I'll interpret it for you and we'll talk to them. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm counting on you. Okay, now that we got the next step figured out, we start interviewing everyone right away. Oh. Hey Tim. There's something on the floor by the window. We should check it out. Oh! What's all this? Pokemon feathers? Sure looks like it. They're all scattered on the floor and the window's open. Maybe a Pokemon got in or out through here? Do you think it has anything to do with the case? Hmm, look at this. One of these feathers is darker than the others. You're right. Well, there's six are the lighter shade of blue. Something about this is nagging at me. I don't think I need to interview you. Right. Or you. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we got a lot more people. Hello there, Detective Tim. No, oh, uh, I mean, Detective Goodman? Mm. Larry Turner. Wait, are you the detective? Right, that was Mr. Dennis. Said at least. Ma, the name? The name's, wait, that's not proper enough, sorry. My name is Larry Turner, I'm a member of the house staff. House staff, huh? 
seems in over his head. If you need anything, just let me know. I mean, please inform me if you really don't have to be so formal with us. Thanks, that's a huge relief. I got this job a while ago, but I'm still not used to talking all fancy. Uh oh, is that the problem? Well, it's a good thing for me that Barnes deals with all the important guests. My main duties are taking care of the Pokemon, managing the house, and groundskeeping. I can handle all that, no problem. I don't know, this guy isn't exactly filling me with confidence his ability to do his job. Anyway, uh, you wanted to ask about what happened, right? I mean, I already told the police everything I know. I'm really sorry for taking up more of your time. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant. I'm not complaining or anything. It's just that I don't remember what happened very well. Something attacked me out of nowhere and I blacked out. Something attacked him? So not the thief then. Can you please tell us more about that, Mr. Turner? Sure, no problem. Tell me about the cram. Right, so where to start? I was just doing my job, like normal today. I made food for the Pokemon, did some cleaning around the mansion, all that sort of thing. I think I was tidying up the garden when it happened. I saw a ducklet fly out the second story window. As I recall, I wondered where she was going. I mean, usually ducklet just walks out the front door. It seemed weird to me, so I went upstairs to see what was going on. That's when I saw the door open to the jewel storeroom and it was wide open. As if it wasn't shocking enough, the moment I went in to look inside, I suddenly got punched by a Pokemon. Next thing I knew, I was lying on the sofa and someone was treating my wounds. A Pokemon punched you? Yeah. I feel like I glimpsed a small red figure for just a moment. Based on the size, it couldn't have been human, so I'm guessing it was a Pokemon. A red Pokemon, you know what kind it was? I'm really not sure. It all happened so fast. I see. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Glad you weren't seriously hurt. That's what the doctor said too. No Pokemon would want to steal the Aurora Drop. It's possible the culprit ordered the partner Pokemon to swipe the jewel and punch out Turner. So Tim, now that you've heard Turner's story, what do you think? We need to find the Ducklet that flew out the window and the red Pokemon too. Yep, you got it. Excuse me. Uh, did you see anything else when the Pokemon attacked you? The thief who brought the Pokemon along was probably nearby. Unfortunately, it's all I saw. Can you think of any other detail that might give us a clue? Nothing in particular comes to mind. I mean, Mr. Dennis is such a nice person. I never heard of anyone holding a grudge against him. And I really s surprised to hear that Barnes is a suspect. You don't think Barnes is responsible? I guess the police must have some reason to suspect him, but honestly, I just don't believe it. Barnes is still showing me the ropes around here and he's a great co-worker with tons of experience. I mean, if you'd known Barnes before all this, you could never have even imagined him being a thief. Excuse me? Do you know anything about the stolen jewel? The Aurora Drop? I've never seen anything. It's been shut up in the storage room ever since it was brought in here. Of course, I know it's valuable and all. I assume that's what's been caused on the arguments between Mr. and Mrs. Dennis lately. Let's start arguments. In case you haven't heard, Mr. Dennis is saying he's going to donate the Aurora Drop. Seems like Mrs. Dennis is against that plan. They've been fighting about it almost nightly. Every night, it must be really a point of contention. I guess Mrs. Dennis doesn't want to give up such a valuable jewel. Hmm. So the Aurora Jaws has been driving a wedge between husband and wife, eh? That's uh, good information. Yes? <laughs> I... You certainly don't look like you're with the police. State your business. You're definitely the wife. Yep. We're detectives. Mr. Dennis asked us to investigate the incident that occurred here. Detectives? Oh, I suppose my husband did say something about that. Your husband? That must mean your... Claudia Dennis. I'm sorry to bother you, but do you mind if we ask you some questions? I don't mind, actually. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The case has already been solved. What do you mean? The police said that Barnes is behind all this. So the matter is settled. We've heard that he's under suspicion, yes. But we can't be certain that Barnes... It was Barnes who committed the crime. 
You sound just like my husband. But nothing you say will change the fact that Barnes is the culprit. Barnes' partner, Ducklet, was up to no good. I saw it with my own eyes. Did you witness the crime? Barnes' partner, Ducklet, was involved in the crime? You look as though you don't believe me. Alright, what you witness? Excuse me. Well, I didn't exactly see it clearly. Huh? But I did witness some irrefutable proof. What exactly did you see? At the time of the incident, I was drawing a cup of tea in my room on the second floor. Just then, I noticed a bird Pokemon flew outside the window. A bird Pokemon. Yes, I clearly saw a blue bird. It had to have been Ducklet. We did find blue feathers near the window of the storage room. So those are ducklets. In hindsight, it was obviously stealing the jewel. I also heard a faint sound just before that sounded something metallic. A metallic sound. Do you know what could have been what could have made that noise? No, I don't. But the storage room was ransacked, wasn't it? I suppose it must have broken something in the end. And I heard it confirm that ducklets' feathers were found in the room. Isn't that proof enough that Barnes is the culprit? Uh, she's pretty darn convinced of her own theory. But all it's based on is some metallic sound on the side of a flying bird, a blue bird Pokemon. Pretty flimsy if you ask me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mrs. Dennis. But that information alone is enough to definitely, definitely prove Barnes is the culprit. Then hurry up and find whoever it is and get the jewel back. Isn't that what my husband hired you for? <sighs> I get that she's upset. But she doesn't have to talk, take it out on us. Excuse me. Mr. Dennis seems confident that Barnes is innocent. Ah, oh, yes, I'm sure he is. He's always been too trusting. Especially when it comes to Barnes. Those two really trust each other that much? I'm told Barnes has worked over here, worked here for a very long time. Much longer, in fact, than I've known Sanjeev. I suppose that's why Barnes has always taken my husband's side. What do you mean by that? Whenever my husband and I have a disagreement, Barnes inevitably sides with Sindhu. Even though I'm sure he believes he's being impartial, the lack of self-awareness is yet another one of those many flaws. I get the feeling Claudia is not a huge fan of Barnes. Do you think that's why she's so sure he's a thief? Excuse me? Could you tell me more about the Ducklet? Ducklet is Barnes' partner. She's dotted, she dotes him tirelessly, and it's always by his side. Oops. Would Duckley be capable of such a thing? Yes. She even helps Barnes out with his shopping. She'd certainly be capable of making off of the jewel. Well, whether or not Duckley stole the jewel, the one thing that remains certain is that she really loves Barnes. Yes? The Aurora Drop is an incredible, valuable jewel. Mr. Dennis told me the same thing. But do you really understand? Can you even comprehend how valuable it is? Uh... I know it. Just look at those blank expressions. Hey, my face always looks like this. As it is, I'm not even sure my husband understands the true value of that jewel. After getting his hands on something so precious, why would he want to donate it to Rhyme City? So the uh, so you're against donating the jewel? Of course I am. Treasure like that aren't meant to be pardoned are par paraded about for the general public. Wow. They should be preserved for quite, us quite observation by a select few. Huh. Hard to imagine her quietly doing anything. Hey, <laughs> biggin. Oh, it's a fable. Mrs. Dennis's partner, apparently. Can I ask you a few questions? Whoa, what kids? Don't be so rude. What's wrong? She seems like she has real suspicions of us. Maybe she's feeling sensitive after the incident here. Oh. We can't talk to her. Okay. I see. Taking her what Mrs. Dennis has to say. I'm guessing he also told you about his butler. He's definitely not pleased that Bards has fallen under suspicion. It sure seems that way. 
In my position, I'm not at liberty to share all the information we've gathered, but if there's anything I can help, just let me know. Thank you. Okay. What was the incident of the mission at the time? Of okay, yeah. We're still looking into that. I'm sure you'll get more direct answers as the witness himself. He's right. We should take this one step at a time and get our own intel. Hmm. Yeah, well, the circumstances certainly seem to be pointing in this direction. Yes, I think of a single motive. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, that was pretty useless. He said nothing there. I heard the Aurora drop is incredibly valuable. The Aurora drop's not just valuable, it's famous throughout the entire jewel industry. Plenty of people want to get their hands on it because the jewel is sold by intruder. Can't rule out the possibility, but based on concurrent evidence, the likelihood of burglary is low. Hmm. It's holiday. I know this has nothing to do with the current case, but you want to ask me about Harry. Yes. Do the police have any new leads? I'm sorry, but we haven't made any developments on that front. Oh well, thanks anyway. I'm just myself. Harry's working the air case. We're missing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. He's missing. Alright, uh. I guess I go back and investigate you? Oh! We got Growl. This is Dennis's partner, Growl. She sure doesn't look happy. Apparently, she feels responsible. No wonder why she's still down. Maybe we should leave her alone for a while. What? Hmm. What makes the Aurora drop a symbol of revival? Two years ago, during the R incident, my jewelry shop suffered considerable damage. Wait, you're the victim of the R incident? Yes, yeah, some Pokemon who been exposed to R went berserk. The rampage destroyed my shop to say nothing of damage done to my jewels and other goods. By that time, I already had the Aurora drop. I kept it stored safely in my shop. So the Aurora drop was damaged too. No, matter of fact, it wasn't. Of all the jewels in my shop, the Aurora drop was the only one to remain unscathed. In fact, your beef fell so perfectly around the Aurora Drop, you might believe it has been protected. That's incredible. I guess there's some magic left in the world after all. Ever since then, the Aurora Drop has become known as a jewelry that survived the R incident. People started visiting my shop to see it. And thanks to all the all that attention, my business was able to get back on its feet. It sounds like a valuable jewel. In more ways than one. What made you decide to bring it back to your mansion instead of keeping it at the shop? I decided to donate it to Ram City. The Aurora job? But why donate something so precious to you? It's not just precious to me, that's exactly why I've decided to donate it. Mayor May Myers has done his part in providing our city by declaring the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. I thought it was time that I did mine. So I wanted to donate the jewel that survived the R incident as a symbol of Rhyme City's revival. I hope. That by doing that, by doing so, I can help liven up not just my shop, but the whole city as well. Wow, Dennis, I'm impressed. That's a wonderful gesture. I'm glad you think so. Not everyone was so pleased about it. Oh? Oh, forget I say anything. I shouldn't have burned you with concerns over such personal matters. For now, I'm counting on you to find the Aurora drop as quickly as possible. Understood. Anything, I, anything we can do? Nope. Now then, Mr. Barnes, well, thank you. Not to leave the mansion until further than further us. I understood. Oh. Hey, let's sounds like the police are finishing questioning Barnes. Let's go talk to him. Yeah. How did it come to this? Why are the police so suspicious of me? Excuse me, are you Mr. Barnes? Who might you be? I'm Detective Goodman. Mr. Dennis has hired me to investigate the crime that occurred here. Is that so? Ah, oh, my apologies. I'm Brandon Barnes. I work here at the Dennis res residence as a butler. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? I realize you must be tired since you were just questioned by the police. Ah, eh, please don't worry about that. If you've been hired by Mr. Dennis, then it's my duty to give you my full cooperation. Thank you. What would you like to speak to me about? Yes. Incident... <laughs> It's always when the incident occurs. I was away, that is. 
It wasn't until after I finished my errand and entered the house that I realized something was amiss. I heard Turner cry out from the second floor. When I rushed upstairs, I found him collapsed on the floor in front of the jewelry storeroom. So that means Barnes was the first witness to arrive at the scene of the crime. Did you see the Fae or the partner Pokemon? No, nothing like that. Wait, if Barnes ran upstairs, you think he'd run straight into the thief? If he didn't see anyone, could they have escaped from the second floor? Did you check the storage room? Yes, the door was already open. When I looked inside, I saw the Aurora drop was gone. I then contacted Mr. Dennis and the police right away. Is there anyone who uh, who can collaborate where you're able at that time? Unfortunately not. It was only afterwards that Mr. Dennis came out of her room to see what the commotion was all about. And the only others in the house at that time were Growlithe and Cafable. Naturally, no one was able to take witness statements from Pokemon, so I'm afraid I have no alibi. That's where we come in. The Pokemon that live in this mansion must know something. Okay? We can get them to talk. Mm. Mr. Barnes, do you have any idea who the thief might be? Not a clue, I'm afraid. But I do know that Mr. Dennis and I are the only ones who can freely use the key to the jewel store room. Gralith guards that key with constant vigilance. So I imagine it would be very difficult for anyone else to take it from her. I suppose it's no great wonder that the police suspect suspect me, given the circumstances. But I would never do something so senseless. At least this confirms that only those two have access to the key. Yes. Ducklet is my dear partner Pokemon. Just look at this photo. Oh. This Ducklet screenshot. This Ducklet is with you there. Yes. Isn't she adorable? Just look at her feather. So simply beautiful. But that's not all. She's also incredibly clever and even helps out with my work. Uh, excuse me. I'm terribly sorry. Sorry, sorry. I can't speak. I tend to get a bit carried away when I speak about Ducklet. It's really no problem. You mentioned that she helps you with your work. What exactly does she do? Let's see. She runs errands for me, such as buying coffee beans from a local cafe. Oh, she buys coffee beans? Nice. There's a place nearby called Hi Hat Cafe. Perhaps you've heard of it. She regularly goes shopping there by herself. If that's their go-to cafe, then it's gotta be... It's gotta be for the hi-hat blend. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Round City elites have such refined taste. I asked her to go to the cafe today, in fact, but she hasn't returned yet. Could she have wandered off somewhere? Do you have any idea where Ducklet might be? Fortunately, no. The feathers found at the scene of the crime were Ducklets, right? Yes, no question about it. But I haven't the faintest idea why Ducklet's feathers would be there. Just the thought of... Her getting caught up in the crime somewhere. I'm so worried I can hardly think straight. <sighs> Out of all the jewels in Mr. Dennis' collection, he considers the Aurora Drop to be his most precious. He worked tirelessly to acquire it in the first place. You might even say Aurora Drop is the physical manifestation of the crystallization. God. I wish nothing but swift retribution on the thief who stole it from him. For someone who speaks so formally, Barnes is a pretty passionate guy, isn't he? Please, Tim, find the Aurora Drop, I beg you. Don't worry, we're on the case. Alright, bye. Well... Based on the testimony, I'm really not surprised the police suspect him. Yeah. If only there was another witness, at least. About that, aren't you forgetting something, Tim? Huh? Barnes told us that Growlithe and Cafable were in the mansion at the time of the incident, remember? Alright, oh, maybe the Pokemon saw something. Exactly. Leave the rest to me. I thought we were going to question him. What? Why are you Tim Tim and me? Yo, May Nectric! Working hard? Stay out of my way! What did I ever do to you? Ba, 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 dun, 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 dun. Hello! Hello. Still looks awfully suspicious. Let's try again later. God. Hey, Growlithe, sorry to bug you when you're already feeling down. We'll be alright if we ask you some questions. We're here to catch the thief, and we need your help to do that. You willing to talk to us if we help 
Sanjay, thanks. Sanjay. Growlithe's nickname for Dennis. Here's I can tell. All right, his full name is Sanjeev Dennis. I guess Sanjay makes sense. Anyway, Growlithe, can we start with a question? Gotcha. It's Dennis's partner. It's your job to guard the mansion. And we already know the key to the jewel room was around your neck. Growl. It's important to Dennis, so guarding the garden is important to you. Makes sense. Growl. She said she'd never let anyone other than Dennis or Barnes ever touch the key. Growl. So that was why you feel extra responsible for what happened, huh? She really got a strong sense of responsibility. Don't worry. The two of us are going to crack this case. Boom, boom, boom. Well. Do you remember anything about the time of the incident? You don't know because you were napping. What? Your breakfast was so tasty that you ate too much and made sleepy? <laughs> Been there, believe me. What are you even talking about? You woke up when Barnes got home. That would have been right before all the commotion happened. When you woke up, the key was gone. Yeah, I can tell you're upset. You'll do whatever it takes to help us catch a thief? Thanks. We'll come ask for assistance if anything comes up. She says Barnes is all is a kind, well-mannered person. He and Dennis are close, and he's never seen them fighting or arguing. Mr. Dennis really does have trust Barnes, after all. And Growlithe likes Barnes, too. Judging from what Growlithe said, it's hard to think of Barnes as a likely culprit. There wasn't anything in Growlithe's testimony that could help us prove Barnes' innocence. Alright. I'll do what I can to get her to talk to us. Okay. What? You think you're worth these return to the scene of the crime? You're all wrong. We're not here to steal anything. We're actually great detectives looking to catch the thief. Please, can you answer some questions? Yes? Really? Come on. You can trust us. Yeah, help us out. I'm sure Claudia's bad mood will cheer up too. Clear up. So, you willing to talk to us? Thanks. Guess Cathable was worried about something bad happening. Hey! Do you have a job here at the mansion? Ah, uh, no job per se, unless you count spending time with Claudia. Isn't it tough hanging out with someone so... prickly? <laughs> Claudia's not a bad person, you say. Sorry, I didn't mean to be insulting. Oh, uh, so Claudia's always arguing with someone or other. But when it's just you and her together, she starts to regret the whole thing. Uh, I get it now. Your job is to cheer her up when she gets into arguments. Wow, you're reacting real. You're, well, you're actually pretty nice. I bet Cafable's really important to Mrs. Dennis. Hmm. Did anything strange happen today? Cafable's saying she got real sleepy when playing in the mansion this morning. Second person got sleepy. Then she dozed off and doesn't know what happened after that. That's too bad. Hmm. Just think about Barnes. Did you get along with him alright? Claudia doesn't like Barnes, so Cafable tries not to have much time to do with him, okay? But she doesn't think Barnes is the bad person. After all, she says Barnes ran to help Turner when he got hurt. What does that mean Cafable saw Barnes going upstairs to help Turner? Yeah, it's gotta. What else did you see? Cafable was dozing near the front door this morning. When Barnes got home from doing stuff outside, she woke up and greeted him at the door. Then Cafable and Barnes heard Turner cry out on the second floor, so they both went running upstairs. And that's when, to their surprise, they found Turner on the floor. That means when Turner was attacked, Barnes is still on the first floor. Okay, let's start deducing. Are we really good on this? <clears throat> okay. Okay. We got more information. Let's stop for a moment and get our thoughts together. Based on everything we heard, is there anything that suggests Barnes is innocent? Let's review the information we gathered to come up with. Well, it's got to be... He returned to the mansion after the crime occurred. 
both he and Capable heard the Larry cry out. Yeah. Okay. We learned that Capable greeted Barnes when he returned to the mansion. And Grouth said she woke up at the exact same time. Barnes and the others only became aware of the crime after that. Does that mean Barnes couldn't be the culprit? Barnes was on the first floor when Turner was attacked. The that would have been that would have made it diff very difficult to Barnes to steal the jewel. I'm not sure we can prove Barnes' innocence with all that. Yeah, we can't exactly disclose the testimony came from the Pokemon. No one will believe us. It looks like we're going to need other evidence to prove his innocence. I was gonna say. Are they going to believe a Pokemon? Look for stronger evidence. Okay. We can't lift suspicion around Bards with Cafable's testimony alone. I think we're going to need some other kind of evidence to prove his innocence. Where should we look? Uh, nothing immediately comes to mind. At times like this, it's best to try to investigate other leads. We might find a thread somewhere unsuspected that leads us back to this. It's interesting up there in the notes flowchart. To get close to the truth of this case, we got no choice but to find the Pokemon that witnesses saw. The red Pokemon that entered the mansion is clearly involved in this incident. Look for that Pokemon. All right. Witnesses reported seeing a red Pokemon in Ducklet. I wonder if that Pokemon, if the Pokemon that cut open the jewel case, is a culprit's partner. It makes sense to think of that, but no such human is seen by the witness. Having said that, we learned something we can find a red Pokemon. Let's head to the city and get some leads on that red Pokemon. I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what Pokemon it actually is. Mm. Alright, in Duckla is nowhere to be found residents and find out where she went. At this point, it seems pretty unlikely that Barnes is a culprit, but then where did Ducklet leave from the second floor window? It seems unlikely that it's got nothing to do with the jewel thief. Finding Ducklet would be the quickest way to confirm that. Good call, let's head to the city and look for her. Looks like the only way to continue our investigation is to gather info in the city. But where should we go? Should we go out to Ducklet or search for the red Pokemon? If we're unsure, why don't we try following Ducklet? I think we'll have a better lead to go on that than the red Pokemon. Alright. We did hear that Ducklet is supposed to go buy a coffee beans today. I'll bet she went to High Hat Cafe. You're right, I should probably go to the cafe. But it's not wasting same time. Lillip's partner? Huh? You mean you won't help me? I understand how you feel, ma'am, but we're in the middle of an investigation right now. Yes, but what should I do? Hmm. Looks like that woman has a problem. Sure it does. I doubt it has anything to do with the case, but it's hard not to help people who need help. That's the spirit, Tim. If you see a person or a Pokemon with problems, let's do what we can to help. That's what makes us the greatest detectives. But we do need to prioritize our case as something we can help with when we have time. First, let's hear what she has to say. Good idea. During your investigation, people and Pokemon may go away. May request your help in solving their problems. These people and Pokemon have blue speech bubbles. If you see them, try talking to them. Local concerns you agree to help with are added to a list. You can check the list with the Y button. Keep in mind that some of these requests aren't necessarily problems in the strictest sense. Excuse me, may I ask what's wrong? My lily pup's gone missing. Oh no, what happened? We were taking a walk together in Serenity Park. I guess Lily Pups must have been having too much fun. He got so worked up it took off like a rocket. I've been searching all over for him and now I'm exhausted. That police officer won't look into it for me either. I don't know what to do. We can't just ignore this. That's right, helping Poke uh, people is a detective's job and finding lost Pokemon even more so. We'd like to help you, ma'am. We're detectives, so we're pretty good at looking for lost people in Pokemon. Really? That'd be a huge help. Can you think of any, anywhere your lily pup might have gone? Hmm. Well, I've already searched the park pretty thoroughly, but I haven't looked for him in the city. Oh, also my lily pup likes quiet places, but I'm not sure there are any places like that around here. I think that's enough information for us to go on. Please wait here while we search for him. I'm so sorry to add that to your workload when you already look so busy. Thank you. Hope you found my sweet lily pup. If we see lily pup during investigation, we should talk to it. Okay.
Oh, Serenity Park. Wasn't expecting to be able to go all the way out here. Mm -hmm. This place is huge. Mm. This is Serenity Park. It's where everyone goes for a break from Visit City. It's so popular people in Pokemon. Yeah, sometimes you find Pokemon here normally once in the city. I want to try to swing by for a walk and we get some free time. Okay. Just kind of exploring a little bit. Whee! They seem happy where they're talking about. They're saying no matter how many times they visit the city, there's always bustling and full of fun. I suppose they witness anything? Because they try to ask. Win. You're right on seasonal winds. Mm -hmm. Leaving the city so you can travel somewhere else. Yeah, the Windsor Cost say it's theirs. Okay. So that's their cotton. I don't suppose you've been in there. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Oh, come on, you gotta remember that much. Oh, this one does remember. It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. It thinks so? That's not a very clear answer. Yeah, let's ask for more details. Hey! You said you might have been in the mansion. How'd you get inside? So you went through the window with your friends. Why'd you do that? You don't remember anything after eating breakfast? What the heck does that mean? Please, it's really important. Just try to remember. Some human you don't know asked you to do it. What was this stranger like? You don't remember because it was someone you'd never seen before, huh? Now look here. You might be an accessory to theft. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Hmm. They were, they're blissfully ignorant to it. After all, playing pranks is kind of the whole deal. It's kind of this thing complicates things. Okay. Hey! Have you seen any red Pokemon around here? Oh, Ponyard is red? That's what I was thinking. Ponyard. Hmm. Yeah. That was my first thought because, you know, the glass got cut. And you recently become friends with one. It's a Pokemon with blades all over its body. And it's true that Pokemon's pretty red. You have to run into Ponyard in the terrace. Okay. And on windy days, you play with Ponyard by picking up and flying it around. Ooh, they said they like to fly Ponyard all the way here from Serenity Park. Serenity Park is the big park just beyond here, right? Yeah, it traces all over the far side. Maybe we can find Ponyard there. Do you remember the last time you played? Oh, lately you've been playing together every day, even today. In that case, you might be able to find where it is now. If we go meet Ponyard, we should be careful about how we treat its favorite rock. It has a favorite rock. Apparently there's a rock at the terrace that Ponyard really cares about. One time they accidentally stepped on it, and then Ponyard got mad. Real mad. Oh, that's scary. We gotta watch where we step. <sighs> I don't suppose they've seen Duckler around, have they? Okay, okay, I get it. You didn't see her. If they didn't see her, I wonder where she went. Okay, do you suppose Ponyo is the red Pokemon we're looking for? Apparently, it's good friends of Winsicott that went to the mansion. Seems pretty likely. Best. Yeah, I'd probably be fastest just to go meet and ask. Mm -hmm. Track down Ducklet. We should go look for Ducklet upon your fur. See, there's fine by me. We can start with wherever one you like. Thanks, Pikachu. Oh, if it isn't P-Dub, glad to see you're feeling better. Oh, it's this one. Who am I? Who do you mean? I just rescued you a little while ago. It's forgotten the whole thing already. Well, P-Dub, known for their forgetfulness. Do, 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 Oh, so we have auto saves. Hmm. Cool. Ah, uh, okay, we'll keep going. Oh, 
It's a garbotter now. Trub! A trubbish. Hey, wait up! It's gone. Oh! You're waiting down the street, right? Let's follow. We got some questions. Help you just find it. I'm curious. Hmm. hmm, it's not here. Must be hiding somewhere. Well, there's no point hanging about. Let's go interview somewhere else. No. Well, there's a lily pup. He's so cute. Did someone say walkies? <laughs> say a picture, isn't this? Yeah, it's a lily pup. It may be indeed be the partner of that woman we met in the front of Dennis's residence. Let's ask. Hey there, lily pup. What are you doing all the way out here? Apparently, he was having so much fun running around that he wasn't paying attention to where he was going. Next thing you know, he was here. Just like the woman said earlier. Says he misses his partner. Okay, we're gonna tell her and bring her. We're gonna go tell her and bring her here to you. Why don't we bring that? Okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad you'd be found. Thank you so much for finding her, my dear Lily Pup. Detective. You're welcome. Glad we could help. You ran away because you weren't getting enough playtime, didn't you? Alright then, we could play together as much as you like today. Guess that's settled. Yeah, it's nice to see them both happy. Hey. So, what about a little trash bag? Interesting that they had a little scene for the trash bag, but the trash bag's gone. Self-appointed city patrol. <laughs> what are you up to? Watch out hobbies, observing things around the city. In that case, maybe it's seen something useful. Can't hurt to ask. Roger. Oh, you never get bored in the city because there are so many different people in Pokemon to watch? Must be fun having eyes like yours, especially since they let you see in the dark. Roger. What, really? What's it saying? You gotta tell me too. Right, sorry. It says I saw Duckle pass by here. If she passed by here, she was probably on her way to the cafe after all. Roger. So many red Pokemon, you don't know which one you mean. Good point. We don't know anything else about it. Let's see. We know it's a Pokemon that can use a move to slice the key through a hard object. Can use a knock down a human with a punch. You see a Pokemon like that around here? Alright then. Watch out. I don't think you were there. Ah, oh, this is real bad. This boy looks pretty down. Sorry to bother you, but is everything okay? You look unhappy about something. Oh, you detective in the Pikachu I saw on TV. Awesome, detective's what I need. Can you tell us what's bothering you? Well, we got a match coming up against the park soccer club. I know the park had a soccer club. One of the members has a Crafty is our partner, and they're so good. So where are we gonna lose? I want a partner I can play with too, but I can't find any Pokemon that are good at soccer. Gotcha. Sounds like a good search for a Pokemon with good footwork. Can you think of any Pokemon that can play soccer really well, Mr. Detective? Hmm. None immediately spring to mind, but I'll be sure to find one. Really? Thanks. I sure hope we can find a Pokemon that likes playing soccer. That's gotta be somewhere in Ram City. Okay. Ooh, like Cinderace or Score Bunny or that whole line. Ba, 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 ba. 
Wait, did we type that greeted? Nah, he's just greeting. Oh. Ooh, it's that girl. Oh, Tim. Rachel May, your student at Ram University. Okay, so college. There. Where's his friend? Wow, what a coincidence running into you here. Yeah, I'm surprised as you are. Hmm, I think I've seen this girl somewhere before. Wow, good good memory, Pikachu. Oh, I remember, Howard Snowbrook. She's the girl with the photo. Yes, Pikachu, this is Rachel. We go to college together. She's the mayor's daughter. Right, right. And you said she knows a lot about Pokemon too, didn't you? And she's just a classmate, or... See, this is why I don't like telling you about my personal life. I'm just looking out for you. Never heard you talk about actually having fun with people. Ah, uh, well, actually, who's the woman next to her? I know about as much as you do. I don't think we've met before. Hey, Jessica. Have you heard of these? Of course. It's an honor to meet the great detectives. By the way, Tim, were you talking to Pikachu just now? Uh, what? Uh, no way. Uh, no need to be embarrassed. I totally understand the urge to talk with your partner. But now that you're here, why don't you chat with us for a bit? Yeah, sure. You and Pikachu must be working hard, huh? Yeah, he's actually more helpful than he looks. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, Pikachu. <clears throat> oh. Man, full-on conversation like that makes this game amazing. Come on, Tim. You give me a better compliment than that. You seem different than usual, somehow. Don't tell me that award my dad gave you already is starting to change you. No, of course not. Uh, I'm not the same as I've always been. I'm the same as I've always been, that is. Are you sure? I mean, we don't really know each other all that well. Maybe you have been the wrong impression of me. No way. I've had my eye on you for a while now, Tim. Hey, hey. Uh, excuse me? Does that mean what I think it means? It's like I have a front row seat to the great detective in action. It feels like an exciting new adventure could break out at any moment. Oh, right. Did you get your hopes up for a moment there, Tim? Quiet, you. It is such an honor to meet you, Tim. Thank you for solving the R case. You have no idea what that meant to me. No. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have an idea. <laughs> I see news about your accomplishments on TV all the time. You're quite the celebrity. Celebrity? I wouldn't go that far. No need to be modest. You're a great detective, after all. This guy used to work with my mother years ago. And that's how we met. And we've been friends ever since. Oh, I see. It's been a while since we met up like this. About two years, I think. We've both been so busy lately. We just haven't had the time to get together. I had no idea you'd become friends with the famous great detective. Were you su surprised? Yes, of course. Hey, I'm the great detective. By the way, Tim, I work at the pizzeria. Ooh. If you're ever in the area, stop by. I'll treat you to one of our awesome pizzas. All right, did you hear that, Tim? Let's go sometime. The pizza place where Jessica works is actually pretty famous. Sounds great. I'd love to. I'll take you up on that offer. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Tim, there's actually something I want to talk to you about. What's up? Well, it's about something going on at home. Sounds serious. I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but you can always talk to me. I don't want to waste your time, though. Don't worry about it. I'm, we're not, I'm working right now, but we can meet up tonight if you're free. Sure, that works. Thank you, Tim. Okay, then. How about you stop by my apartment later this evening? Hey, not bad, Tim. Aren't we supposed to have dinner with your family tonight? Oh, yeah. But this sounds serious. I can't brush her off. The least I can do is hear her off for a little bit. Fair enough. I'm sure your family will understand. Tim. Dude. Tim. Oh, what up, dude? Hey, Tim. Jessica seems really grateful to us for solving the R case two years ago. Yeah. Nice to know our hard work wasn't for nothing. But also, why? We don't know. 
Whoa. Oops. I was... I... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just going this way because I tried to get to the bottom of the screen so I could see everything. Um, I don't need to investigate instruments. Hey, Ludico. Look at him dance. Well, look who it is. What? Who wants to talk to you? Pablo. Ludico. Let him dance. He doesn't dance like that in Scarlet and Violet. He does not do that in Scarlet and Violet anymore. Ludity. It looks like she's in a good mood as always. Do you think she might know something? She might. We can ask her. Luda. You say you've got an ear for rock now? Not just jazz? Hey, there we go, little Colo. Apparently, a polytoad and his friends put on a concert here at night. That's awesome. And you really love that music. Just saw how it went from jazzist to rocker. I love to hear polytoad's concert sometime. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Duckley recently? She says Duckley came to the cafe pretty often. Pablo knows more about that, apparently. Oh, and you sometimes see Duckley at Serenity Park. Ooh, so the pond water there is good for her fur. And you met Duckley there sometimes when you go to bathe? How nice to each other talk about good swimming spots. I guess water type Pokemon get along swimmingly with each other. <laughs> Milkery. Bum. Bum. Oh, it's Milkery. Hey, Pablo, got a new customer? Oh, you mean Milkery? It's just. It's new. It just started living here, in fact. I wonder what sort of place it's from. Whoa, whoa, hey, hold on. Milkery. Milkery? Milkery? Well, Timmy Pikachu of particular blends they prefer. You can't just start any cream without asking. Oh, it's cream all over the place. I prefer to keep my coffee black. Why don't you try some cream, Tim? Sure, it smells great. I'm gonna try next time. Hey. Did something happen today? Notice you weren't here this morning. Yeah, I got caught up in a new case. Oh, sounds rough. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Me? Sure, go right ahead. Excuse me. You must have been real busy moving your cafe to this new location. Do you feel settled in right now? Yeah, feels like things are finally getting back to normal. I know Pikachu's coming here, been coming here on its own to drink your coffee. I hope he hasn't been causing you any trouble. Trouble? Me? I'm a paying customer. Once you pick up my tab. Not at all, the cafe is always closer to your place now. And it seems like Pikachu feels real comfortable here. And the Hi Hat Cafe always welcomes Pokemon customers. Hey. The butler's from the Dennis Mansion, yeah. He swings by the cafe pretty often after he's done with work. He's a regular customer? Yeah, he loves coffee and jazz. So we've got plenty to talk about. But apparently he's been really stressed lately. So he hasn't been stopping by as much. He's been really stressed, huh? You should probably ask for more information about that. Do you know why he was stressed? I'm not sure it's my place to tell you about a customer's personal matters. Please, we're just trying to help. Ah, so it's the case, huh? I did best to tell you. He's worried about the jewel that Mr. Dennis is planning to donate. Apparently, Dennis had a different opinion about that. Barnes is trying to come up with a compromise that would satisfy both of them. But he said he just wound up getting stuck in the middle of the argument. That's true. That, is, that sounds stressful. I remember him saying he wished there was no jewel in the first place. Oh, he wished there was no jewel, huh? Anyway, that's all I know. Hope it helps. Excuse me. Do you know the ducklet? Yeah, I know her. We're talking about Barnes' partner, right? She often comes here on her own to buy coffee beans. She's a really clever little Pokemon. She always comes in with this cute little bag that I fill with beans for her. As far as I know, she takes them straight to the mansion. In fact, she left here in usual order of a couple minutes ago. Boom, 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 boom. Really? Okay, let's start deducing. Oh. Right. We got everything to make our decision. Let's solve this puzzle, Tim. Uh, find out where she went. Okay, we can do this one. Okay. Where 
to find out where Duckley went after she left the mansion. Let's piece this together first. We got well, we only got two different pieces of information. She went to the Hayat Cafe. Okay. Didn't go to the Hayat Cafe to buy coffee. We didn't. Yeah, didn't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, apparently she goes there on a regular basis of island. Today is one of those days. And Pablo said that the handed Ducklet usually order. So I guess Ducklet headed back to the Gansha Cafe then. She might be back to the mansion already. Let's go! Can't do this one yet. And we don't know that one yet. Okay. Let's head back to the mansion and search for Ducklet. Good idea. Drop a little save real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go search for Ducklet. We'll keep going the Ducklet route. We're we'll still gonna look for a Pokemon that can play soccer. We can go find the red Pokemon. Oh, Did something happened. New people. Oh, things have changed. Hey. What in the world were you doing? My apologies, sir. Something happened, Brad? Ducklet was spotted near the mansion just now. But when my supporters tried to catch her, they let her escape. Ah, uh, so Ducklet had just gone back to the mansion. Do you know where she ran off to? Unfortunately, I do not, and I don't have the resources to keep searching. At this point, I have to call in the services of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. You tell the inspector that I'm heading back to the station for a moment. Yes, sir. So he's not Douglas on the mansion right now. Well, Brad and Minetric are gone, but still, we have no idea where Douglas could have gone off to. Where would we even start looking? Well, now what? We should put the search for Douglas in a hole to look for the red Pokemon instead. I mean, they're probably gonna be in the same place. There's still a place we haven't looked. Let's check them out. Yeah. Kind of know where to go for that. Over here. Ooh. Ooh. It's a map of Serenity Park. The park's huge. Not really. The terrace is all the way on the other side. Well, that's kind of what we need. Oh, but you, soccer player. Bravo. Score a hat trick. Oh, it's a Rabu. What are they up to? You're just about to do some dribbling practice here by yourself? Dribbling practice? Yeah, Rabu are really good at kind of footwork. They're always practicing. In that case, Rabu might be able to, we'll be doing, yeah, do the soccer games, yeah. You're right. This one says it's gonna get some really impressive techniques. Hey Rabu, I know a kid that loves to kick a ball around with you. And if you got some time, would you be willing to play with him? Rabu. You will? Great. That's great. I'll go get him. Rab rab. Those eyes. They even, they look real fired up. This Pokemon is the coolest, Mr. Detective. Try talking to it. I'm sure I'd be willing to practice with you. Really? Hey, Rabu, want to play soccer with me? Rab rab rab. It nodded. Thank you. Let's get this practice started. We're going to win the match for sure. Good luck. Hope you do well. Hope we can be friends, Rabu. Bum, 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 bum. I guess soccer players don't need words to hit it off. Yeah, even without speaking the same language, they seem to understand each other's feelings. Got that one done. Yeah, we'll go up here, take a look. <laughs> I'm moving as a train. Well, I was just thinking this is an odd place for a tree, but it's actually a Pokemon. Yeah, that's a Sudowoodoo. They have a habit of pretending to be trees. You're practicing your tree imitation, huh? Does it have to practice right here? Seems like a block of foot traffic. Hey, true. Hey, Sudowoodoo, want to practice? You should try doing some routes. This location just totally blows your cover. Okay. 
That sure seemed to send it to a panic. Guess I thought I was being blended in perfectly. What's the point of that? Can I go over here to the trash? Oh. Hey. Bum, 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 bum. Adorable deceiver. Purr, 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 purr. This Pokemon is being awfully friendly. This I found some Pokemon drink from. My however crap you say her name is, Serena. Really loves the water here. Yeah, what was the point of me moving through the water? <laughs> that I couldn't tell you. Uh, Pikachu did a little hat flip. 